<sighs> that is very uncomfortable. Not that painful, but uncomfortable. This is gonna feel really cold on my face. Oh. So in this video, I'm going to be testing to see if derma rolling really does work for acne scar indentations. For those who don't know, this is what a derma roller looks like. It's a wheel covered with tiny needles that create little punctures, prompting your skin to heal by producing collagen, which helps reduce scars and wrinkles. A uh, quick history, I used to have really bad acne for about five years and finally started recovering, but I am left with really bad indentations. I'm gonna take this light here to show you guys just how bad they are. Let's get really close. So shining the light from above, you can see how there's a lot of indentation scars here on my left cheek. But yeah, you can see all of that shine the light directly on my face you can't really see anything a lot of people who show before and after pictures they usually don't show it under the proper lining so it's really hard to even see if they actually had results or not so i wanted to make sure that i do that for you guys so we can really see if it works or not so this is the derma roller i'm using this is a 0 0.5 millimeter Derma Roller by Jin Amber Beauty. You can uh, find her on YouTube. She makes her own um, Derma Rollers because she got tired of all of those uh, Derma Rollers that have um, metal discs basically instead of individual needles which apparently isn't very sanitary and not durable where you would have to throw it away after just one use. As for these, you get to use up to 10 times before you throw it out. So what I first do is I use at least 70% rubbing alcohol. I take the rubbing alcohol and I fill up the container. Since the whole thing doesn't stay submerged, I use my finger to rotate the roller to make sure every single needle touches the alcohol. I do this occasionally while I leave it in for 30 minutes. And when the 30 minutes is up, I dump out the alcohol and put the roller back into the container and let it dry for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go wash my face. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just washed my face. Make sure you have nothing on your face, no makeup, no sunscreen. Um, I recommend using a uh, double cleansing method where you take oil or a cleansing balm to make sure you have all of your makeup off before you even use a regular uh, face wash to clean your face. I don't know, I'm just paranoid. I just really wanna make sure my face is 100% clean. And after that, I'm gonna take this cotton pad and pour some alcohol on here. Don't use 90% like I did last time, because, well, that stuff is strong. And you wipe off your face where you're gonna be derma rolling. I have some active acne here and there so I'm gonna be avoiding those areas because you do not want to derma roll over active acne because that is going to probably make your face much worse. It's gonna puncture the acne and spread that bacteria everywhere. You do not want to risk that. All right, here we go. So the instruction is roll three times horizontally, vertically, then diagonally in each section. So here we go, we're gonna derma roll vertically first. One, two, three, one. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. It's five times. Okay, sorry. Five times, five times horizontally, five times vertically, and five times diagonally. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, Two, three, four, five, and then vertically. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three.
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now diagonally. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And now moving on to the left cheek. Okay, there's an active acne right there, so I have to really make sure I avoid it. Okay, we're done. Oh, that is very uncomfortable. Not that painful, but uncomfortable. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same sanitation process where I fill up the container with alcohol. And put the dermal roller back in here. I'm gonna take this facial mask by June Amber. She says all you have to do is put it on your face for uh, I think 30 minutes and then take it off and that's it. You don't have to put anything else on your face. She had a um, buy one box of 10 and get one for free. So I went ahead and I took advantage of that deal. Got myself two boxes. This is gonna feel really cold on my face. Oh. So I'm gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and uh, get back to you guys in a bit. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Probably gonna rub some of the remaining parts of the mask on other parts, like I guess my eyes and neck. All right, I went ahead and dumped out the alcohol from the container and put the drum roller back on here to let it air dry for another 30 minutes. So since I'm using the 0.5 millimeter derma roller, I'm only gonna be doing this uh, once a week and I'm gonna be documenting it each time. I know that uh, the 0.5 is probably not gonna be as effective on the indentations as the 0.75 and the one millimeter derma roller. But for now, I'm only gonna stick with the 0.5 and prep my skin for the 0.75. It's past midnight now, so I'm going to be heading to bed once the derma roller is finished drying. The reason why I did this at night is because I wanted to make sure that I'm done for the day. I'm not going to be going out at all. I don't have to worry about being out in the sun or putting any kind of sunscreen on or moisturizer for um, the next 12 hours at least. All right, so that's going to be the end of this part of the video. I'll see you guys in my next session. Hello, so this is week two. I already washed my face. Um, let the uh, derma roller soak in alcohol for 30 minutes, then let it dry for 30 minutes again, and I'm ready to derma roll. Okay, so update on what my skin looks like after derma rolling um, a total of, I believe, seven times on camera. Like I said, I have derma rolled once or twice before. 
so that's why I stopped at 7 because I wasn't sure if I was exceeding the um, 10 usage limit for tossing it out. So yeah, let's take a look at what my skin or the scars are looking like up close using the same method I used at the beginning of the video by shining light directly above. I'm gonna clip my hair, my bang out of the way. Wow, you can really see on this side, it still looks really bad. I guess these are just really, really deep. So there isn't much that 0.5 dermal rollers can do about it. That's so bad. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some side to side comparison to see if there really is an improvement or not. But definitely this side. It could use probably a one millimeter dim roller or I'd have to actually go get it professionally done because these are way too deep. <sighs> so yeah, um, from what I can tell, there isn't that much of a difference. Hopefully now I'm ready to move up to the 0 0.75, which I already have ready here. I'm actually really nervous about it. I have a numbing cream to use for it. The uh, 0 0.5 derma roller can only be used once every three weeks, so my next video for this is probably going to take even longer because I'm going to have to only do it every three weeks and that's probably almost about once a month, so that'll be like a 10 month long process. But I am hopeful that it'll do a little bit more for my acne scars than the 0 0.5. According to Jin Amber, the longer you wait, the harder it is to get rid of your scars. So yeah, that concludes my 0 0.5 derma rolling test run. So stay tuned for my 0.75 derma rolling video. Till then, see ya!